Welcome to channel 11. Today I am going to give some explanation about our example about how to develop dynamic group group by class in link you. So this is the trick. This is not the straightforward example. This is one of the trick. I tried in Google or myself uh, the proper example but I could not able to uh, find that. But this is on one of the trick. Uh, we can use so to develop dynamic group by class in link you so here I have the three statements in group by classes in SQL so I have the so here I have uh, I have the blocks table in block block table I'm applying group by class here uh, so if you see that values inside the group by inside the table select start from so before going to c sharp uh, .net, i'm going to use show the group a class in sql so i will compare with this information with that so that it should be, it will be clear this is my details inside the block table block table blocks table so here i have the name it has the values v1 v2 and uh, this is the same values at uh, same time for v2 also there is a two rows for v1 and v2 with the same details i have another one v2 and th there is a different uh, value for url and the amount so if i apply the group by class with the combination so here my statements three statements first one i am grouping by name as well as url Second statement I am only applying for name and third statement I'm applying for URL. Let me see how it is going to be output. So this is my output here. See for, for the first statement uh, there are the as mentioned in uh, as shown in uh, previous there is a two V1s. So that is displayed here. There is a two V2s. And there is a uh, so the both two 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 having same details there is a one difference in url third uh, so that is displayed in different so this is my group by class if i go for name as well as url so if i only go for group by name this is the combination so i have only v1 v2 so v2 having three and v1 having one two so this is correct and if i go for url so there is a four url same data for url so that's why it is count is four and there's only one url url one so that's why it is one so this is my output after group by so let me see my my table once again so we'll get the clarity so this is my row two two one four one so this is my group by class so let me see how do i develop same concept in c sharp.net so here i need to pass two columns dynamically so i can pass one or i can pass two or i can pass first time name or url i can pass both let me see that i have already my db context class and this is my connection string it's going to connecting the same data table database and table this is my block table so this is my block and uh, both are same this is uh, connecting this since this cut connecting this uh, database both should be same and this is my dto class so i am going to convert this result according to this so this is my database and let me go to code how do i develop so as I mentioned here, I have used one trick here. So I use two flags. One is URL required and name required boolean flags. And here I have developed the my group by this is my group by statements. So this is my context block table as queryable. So I want to develop group group like us with queryable queryable. So that's why I have used a queryable and group by. So if you uh, if you see this syntax so normally if you have if you have static 
and if we want to develop the group by so we, ha we have to use the new keyword how to create the anonymous class so this is my ana anonymous class here and uh, so if you have static we just use x dot url and x dot name for the time at the time being so let me and uh, so if you wanted to in general cases if you, have, if, you if you don't want dynamic you just type url url x dot name So this is my this is the general uh, statement. If you wanted to go for uh, multiple columns, dynamic dynamic group by, or if you are, if you wanted to go single, we can go uh, with single uh, property. So since I need for a uh, multiple, so I I can create it here like this. And the uh, so in case of static wise, if you don't want to dynamically group group by. We can go like this. Let me go and run this one. It should work. It is executing. So, uh, so this is the output. Let me compare with output now. So, I have created. Uh, I have given. Uh, Group, I am grouping my name as well as URL. So this output should be same as like this for this one. First statement. So let me execute only this one. So this output should be same. So if I compare here count average 10 v1 URL and 20 count to 10 v2 URL. So everything is same so as uh, it's group by name as well as url so since this is static so now i wanted to go for dynamic one with this trick so let's comment this code so this is my so now i wanted to go go for same with flags so at present both flags are true so since the, if you see this code if if my url is true i am giving condition go this one or assign the null so same for name if if i so see if my name flag is true required is full true sorry for this uh, spelling mistakes so true then as uh, assign the name else null so let me try this example If you see here, if, let's compare with the output. So count 10, v1, url, 20, 20. So output, output, output is exactly same. So, so for just verification, let's go and try only for a name. So now I am trying to dynamically assign group by. So now I am setting url is false so in this case it show it it should only group by with name only since i said to now url is false so let's try this example so it should the output should be same with uh, this if you see here count 10 v1 since url i just for understanding purpose so assign na you can ignore this one 20 3 10 v2 30 so output output is exactly same now i can i can dynamically change the my group by column name with name so the same way 
So if you see the complete code I will share, this is the complete code. I am my for each loop, I am just displaying the, those details after uh, assigning them. So let's go for, I want it only for uh, URL. So this time it should be, output should be same like with this. So if you see here, so my output is count is 4, average 10, URL 40, 1, 10, URL, URL 1, and 10. So now I can uh, dynamically assign, uh, change my group by column to URL. So my output is exactly same. I hope guys, I, I, I hope you guys understood right how to, how to dynamically change the group by columns with this trick. So I think there is another approach using um, expression trees. So that is uh, obvious is the good solution, but this is uh, one of the trick we can try. Um, just for, uh, for understanding purpose, I, I tried this and it's working. So I hope you understand how we, we can dynamically uh, develop the group by class using this trick. I hope you understand. Uh, yeah. So I will show you one second complete code so you can uh, see that from the beginning. So this is my context class. So th this is my group by. This is my select class. This is my display. After for each. Thank you guys. Have a nice day. Please watch my video and share your comments. Thank you.